Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a couple more recalls for you, but this time, man, it's like, what? I just couldn't believe it. So I have to share them. All right, this first one, believe it or not, hand soap recalled for possibly containing bacteria. The soap. Well, I guess if the soap is not an antibacterial soap, oh, I just thought, brother, how can hand soap contain bacteria? It's just crazy. All right. It was updated November the 2nd, posted November the 2nd. Okay. Method has announced a voluntary recall the, the name of the, the brand is Method. They've announced a voluntary recall of some of its 12-ounce gel hand wash because it may contain a naturally occurring bacterium called Pseudomonas originosa. And that is not... That's, that's what causes... Uh, Oh, Lord, help me think. Pseudomonas. I know when you get it in your lungs, it causes pneumonia, of course, but I can't remember. It's been too long. According to a notice on its website, how can it be naturally occurring? Yeah, it lives all over. It really does, which is why it's always a good idea to wash your hands before you eat especially a snack food that you eat with your fingers. All right. Um, so, the website is A-N-N-T-A-N-I-N-N-A, -N 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 capital B-I-O-N-D-O. -N -N -O. There's a slash... And then a capital M, capital L, small I-V-E. So it's mlive.com. Got that? All right. Antonina Biondo, mlive.com. Antonina Biondo. Okay, one of them has Antonina, with an A, Biondo, MLive.com. This one has Antanina, with an A at the end of it. Well, that one's got an A on it. Biondo. Well, those are exactly the same. MLive.com. And this one is Antonina. That's the same. Biondo. Well, I guess they felt they needed to put it on there three times. I thought I was seeing three different spellings, but nope. All right. So, Staten Island, New York. Make sure to check your hand soap before you use it. Method has announced a voluntary recall of some of its 12-ounce gel hand wash because it may contain a naturally occurring bacterium. They already said that. Called Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacterium, according to a notice on its website. And there's a link there you can click on. What in the world? That's just weird. The bacteria is typically not harmful to healthy individuals. That's because it's all over. We we're all probably exposed to it daily. However, it might pose a risk to those with compromised immune systems. In rare instances, these immune-compromised individuals may, when infected with the bacterium, experience serious health issues if not treated, according to the recall notice. 
The products recalled in the United States are from two lots of 12-ounce Method Gel Hand Wash in the Sea Minerals Fragrance, that's S-E-A Minerals Fragrance. They were sold through the end of September 2020. No other lots of the 12 ounce method gel hand wash in sea minerals fragrance are affected. I just find this weird. How, how, how does soap even allow a bacterium to grow? Soap is used to take it away. I don't know. We take that risk very seriously, so we're voluntarily recovering those bottles from retailers, Method stated in its recall notice, and we are asking consumers to determine whether they have the affected bottles by using this site. If you do, we will tell you how to dispose the product and how to get a full refund. Can't you just throw it in the trash can? Or squirt it down the toilet? I don't know. That's such a common bacterium. All right, moving on. You can check to see if you have an affected product using Methods website, entering the lot number printed on the bottom of the bottle. And then there's a link here where you go to to do that. If you have the recalled hand wash, do not use it and dispose of it right away. Again, they're saying it's not going to harm the average healthy person. But still, if you've got bacterium growing, do you really want to use it? You can enter your contact information for appropriate reimbursement. You should receive a refund check in the amount of $350 in about 7 to 10 business days. Anyway, there's a little more on here about uh, oh, recent recalls. The U.S. Federal Drug Administration recently announced recalls from two companies, Red Monkey Foods, we talked about that, Incorporated, and Sour Brands, I mentioned them, herbs and spices that may be contaminated with salmonella. If you missed that video, there's a link here you can click on to go see about that. All right, so on to the next one. Milk, lemonade, eggnog, and custard recalled. There might be a strong, and this is in quotes, Strong sanitizer odor. Well, I think if I opened my milk and it smelled like sanitizer, I'd probably pour it down the sink, wouldn't you? This is written by David J. Neal, November 1st, 2020, updated November 2nd. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now... Homestead Creamery. The brand is Homestead Creamery. Recalled several glass bottled products. They're glass bottled products, including some sold at the fresh market after, quote, it was discovered that the product smelled like cleaning agent, unquote. Yeah, if it's glass, I don't know, some states, do they have return it where you, I know when I was a kid, we would go around the neighborhood trying to find glass Coke bottles and take them to the local drugstore and he'd give us like two to five cents per bottle. There was a deposit when you bought them and you got it back when you returned them, but a lot of people didn't care about it, so they just chunked them out their car window they'd land in the grass if they didn't break and kids would go around collecting them and go get the refund so i don't know maybe some states have a, a refund thing for glass bottles still 
I don't think we have it here in Alabama. I haven't heard of it. Anyway, that's from the Homestead written FDA posted recall notice that admits to a, quote, suspected issue with the bottle sanitizing process, unquote, and the recalled milk, lemonade, cream, custard, and eggnog, quote, may have a strong sanitizer odor which may affect the taste and quality of the product, unquote. Sounds like they didn't rinse them good enough, wouldn't you say? Here's what's been recalled. All right. If you bought any of this, A2, A2, that's what it says, A2, A2, capital A's, 2% half gallon. Oh, boy. I can't read these numbers. You'll have to click on the link if you've had got any of these. Cream line whole milk half gallon. Homogenized whole milk half gallon. Homogenized whole milk quart. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to let y'all know. I am working on getting new glasses. Look, here's what I got. And this is not their fault. I am absolutely sure of it. But uh, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Here are my new glasses. With an extremely weird prescription that I got. They even asked me online and then called me. And said, we need you to take a picture of that prescription and send it to us through JPEG or some other format. These are my new glasses. I might have showed them to you. They're called floral. Oh, my goodness. It's like putting on somebody else's really weird glasses. And I have tried to get used to them. Even the reading portion is way wrong. If I close my left eye, no. Yeah, I can see them. But it's very 8752, no, 0, 0, 0. You shouldn't have to read like that. So is it the company or was it the prescription? They're pretty. Anyway, they have to go back. And one of the emails said below is attached a mailing label, but I could not see it. I did not see a mailing label. So I asked them to please resend it. I'm working on it. I'm just, you know, with my heart thing going on, I just couldn't deal with them right away. So anyway, I'm still working. Probably will be gone to heaven before I even get glasses. That's okay. These are 15 years old and I'm still using them. Praise the Lord. They're helping me at least. All right, so that's the end of this video. Uh, I asked the Lord, what did he want me to read today? And I just didn't, I didn't get a thing. So I felt, okay, I'm going to work on my email and maybe there will be a video in there I'm supposed to share that will have scriptures with it. We'll see. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.